So the inauguration is just over and we're still excited about our new president. I was uh, happy to read a front page article in the New York Times by the book critic Michiko Kakutani and uh, he, she was making the point that uh, in his reading habits Obama is a mag uses a magpie approach and she contrasted that to George Bush's uh, prescriptive approach is like reading uh, something that was prescribed to him to read or that prescribed a course of action. The magpie goes around picking up things. It's pretty hard to analyze why, but uh, it's not a, a regular conscious pattern. It's a big picture kind of thing, the right brain as opposed to the left brain, which thinks things through in a more sequential way. And uh, in reading that and thinking about it, I um, I uh, started to look around my house and see some pieces that I had brought home and think about uh, what that means. And um, I, uh, I just took some snapshots without cleaning up or anything. Here's, um, we have a very small apartment. Here's a Diebenkorn, which is kind of the focal point of the, uh, of the room. And um, it is one of my favorite things that we've ever done. But there were other pieces that I have there that I uh, actually didn't like that much when I first saw them. The um, John Cage, he, I always liked, loved his work, but this one was, was strange because there re there's really nothing in it. He just took a piece of paper and, and smoked it. Here it is, I brought it in because, um, so you can see it, oops, you can see it a little bit better. Does it matter whether it's right side up or not? I don't know. So uh, anyway, and then here's another one uh, by Pat Steer. I have a Pat Steer, a brown Pat Steer behind me there. Um, this one, it was done from 1978 and uh, you know, it's mostly brown. I never did think I liked brown pictures very much. In fact, when they painted the hall on our condominium outside brown, I, I was a little unhappy about that. Anyway, um, the, the point really is, I think uh, when you do a magpie approach to, to art, you, you, um, I, I was trying to think, look at it, it's kind of a self-improvement lesson or self-awareness lesson when you go back and look at the things and see if they, how they kind of fit together. And in trying to do that, uh, another phrase from that Michiko Kakutani article came in and she called um, Obama himself an odd mixture of, of empathy and detachment. And I, when I read that, I thought, what a, what a great thing to be. I really would aspire myself to have a mixture of empathy and detachment. And I'm thinking in looking back over the things that I have, the, not only these things, but others in my house, uh, that the artworks themselves uh, kind of have that theme so the magpie approach is uh, useful to, to us, I think, much better than uh, the prescriptive approach to our collecting. And uh, that way also there's a chance to train our brains more and more to have good hunches.